Hi and welcome back to the channel. So it's a run up to Christmas and I don't know if you're hard to buy for but apparently I am. Everybody tells me how hard I am to buy for but we have a few items in our van that would make great Christmas presents and these are essential items that we do not leave behind. They're always in the van and they're always to hand just in case we, uh, we find ourselves in trouble. So I'm going to do my top five items and there'll be five items on equipment and tools that we recommend and use, five items that make our life more comfortable in the van and basically five items that entertain us while we're away and we use them all the time. I just thought I'd share that idea with you as it's a run up to Christmas, it might come in handy. So I store quite a lot of my stuff here. I've got a little light. That doesn't usually live there. I've brought it in, but we'll talk about the light in a minute. But these are the little... This used to be our drawer for shoes. And it started filling up with stuff as it does. But these are the items that we keep. So we're going to go through all of these one by one and share them with you. Right, we're in the van. It's a little bit warmer in here. Um, it's starting to get a bit blowy out there. So, like I said, five essential items. We carry these in the van all the time and I would re definitely recommend them to everybody. Now, I'm gonna give you a chance to win one of these items. And it's this Top Done start pack. It's a jump start pack. Absolutely brilliant. I've used this three, four times now and uh, it's a brilliant piece of equipment just to leave in your van for that moment when you're going to need it. There's nothing worse than uh, waking up and finding you've got a flat battery or one of your group's got a flat battery and you need to sort them out. So this is the JS3000. It is a brilliant bit of kit. I'll switch it on. We charge this up in the summer. Look at that. Still fully charged. Now I will put this back on charge because obviously the cold weather's coming but it has quite a few functions so press and hold that button and it has a light press it again it gives you a hazard light so that might come in handy if you're if you've left the road or if your vehicle's broke down in a bad place and you just want to grab people's attention brilliant bit of kit it has a plug-in point there you can actually use this to charge items up off of so if your battery's running along on your phone you've got no other way of charging you could utilize this now it comes with a little plug like that to charge it look at that it's got a little usb as well so you can be charging that while you're traveling again it has a set of leads with it and these leads are absolutely brilliant now if you look at the end it has one flat side. These are polarity sensitive, so you can only plug this in one way. You don't want to mess around getting that wrong. But if you look, one lead is longer than the other, and that's to stop them touching each other, really. They're absolutely a brilliant construction, really strong, really have a good grip, which is what you would need when you're putting it on your battery. But very well insulated it's a hard plastic on there as well it doesn't feel cheap it feels this feels like a quality product i love it you've got the opportunity to win one stick around to the end and i'll uh, i'll tell you how but i love that just love everything about it now the next piece of equipment that i absolutely love <laughs> i'm like a kid in a toy shop aren't i this is a heavy duty ring tire inflator now this will go up to 70 psi and as you know most of us are running around on big wheels big tires you need big air this thing delivers now i would recommend it plugs in cigarette lighter most crafters and sprinters have a really high ampage cigarette lighter tucked underneath the dashboard i'd recommend using that plug for this it does pull a bit of draw um, also, it has a light on when it's plugged in and, you know, you can light up the area you're working in. Absolutely love it. It's not cheap, but good stuff isn't cheap. It's made by Ring. Now, I love Ring products. 
there's a couple in this van so um, I'll take you through that also it comes with a few little things so if you're inflating stuff I don't know what it'd be like with paddle boards and stuff like that maybe I don't know I've never used it on one so something to test in the summer I think now the next bit of kit so like I say these are items that we carry with us all the time and they are essential for our travels this is a little Noco 5 amp charger but this is the charger I use for conditioning all my batteries if I think there's something wrong with anything I'll stick it on this for a couple of days this pulls it right back absolutely love it again well constructed crocodile clips they even come with different uh, like different connections you can put on the end so we have a connection that is hardwired to the battery so rather than use these we can just plug it straight in job done now i carry them with me also in case one of my travel buddies needs a jump or somebody on the site needs to borrow the the borrow the uh, charger now the next thing anybody that knows me knows i rave about this these lights they come with hooks on the back. My brother introduced me to these. They are absolutely brilliant, made by Ring again. They're a work light. Now, I'm not going to blind you with it. It has two settings and off. Um, it has two hooks on the back. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half to charge from flat. I try not to run it flat, but what it does, it'll, it'll flash and go off. You'll be able to turn it on a few times if you really need it to. But I wouldn't encourage that because you don't want to take the battery completely out. Anyway, another feature is it turns, it twists, and it's got magnets on the back. You saw it there when I got in the van. It was sat behind the seat, clipped to the seat. That works. An absolute treat. Absolutely love these. That good. I bought two of them. And uh, I take them everywhere with me. They just... I just charge them up and stick them in my boot. You can also charge them up off a USB, plugs in there, jobs are good. Now the next thing, now these are new to the van, absolutely had to have them. And these are arc lighters. Absolutely brilliant. Charge up off a USB C's. Can't blow them out. Absolutely brilliant. So we have one for the van. And we have this little orange one that we take with us out and about. Absolutely, I think all this bit, these bits of a kit here are essential for the van. And I highly recommend that you, if you're looking for a present for somebody, look at these first. These were 14 quid. They even come with a little torch. They're just really practical, take up no space. There's no weight in them. All them other bits of kit, I would definitely never leave home without sorry i'd never leave home without them now if you think they're a bit too short we also carry a set of jump leads with us and all we would do is make sure we've got the polarity right and we clip them onto the jump leads if we needed that little bit extra length so there are the five equipment that i would definitely definitely guarantee i would never ever leave home without and i would recommend if you haven't got them in your van you should consider putting them in your van they will get you out of a sticky situation and the practical. The most expensive thing there is probably the JS3000. But if you want to win one, we'll have a little competition. Um, it'll just be another subscriber competition, basically. Subscribe, like and share, all that sort of stuff. But we'll do that at the end anyway. Comfort. This section is all about the things that makes our life on the road, while we're travelling, while we're going to festivals, that little bit easier. One of my favourite items, and you'll see this out at every campsite we go to and every meetup that we go to, it's this wheel table. Absolutely love it. The tyre table comes flat packed. That is it. That is how flat it comes. You can store it away, and that's like the grab handle to slide it out. We have this set down the side of our van. It's really easy to grab and just pull out. And you know, there's no, not a lot of weight in it. Now, because we had that there, this brings me on to the second piece of kit. We installed a gas point right there. And that was so we could use our CADAC to 
always in the van. So handy to just carry around with you. And it gives you that outdoor cooking experience as well. It's not a barbecue, it's not anything else other than two rings, but it does come with hot plates. That's it set up, took 30 seconds. Now, on the bag, these store separately so they don't rattle while you're traveling. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get them one-handed again. But all you do, take that off, and you can swap it out for a griddle or a hot plate. And there you go. We enjoy being outside. That was a big driver behind building this van. Being able to cook outside is all part and parcel of it. And in all honesty, it's one of the biggest, biggest things I enjoy about what we're doing. It's the best thing I enjoy about what we do. I love sitting outside, making food, talking, just being sociable, you know, and it's, it's, it's them little things, them little moments around the fire, around the trough when you're eating. <laughs> You know, all them, mem they, they, you make loads of memories, you make lots of friends, and having a Kadak is one of them sociable things. It's, you know, people will come and talk to you about that bit of kit. You know, that set up, perfect present. The third item for me is the microwave. We have a little Russell Hobbs 800 watt microwave. Now it's so handy and so convenient, I couldn't ever think of building a van without a microwave in now because in our normal lives, we've become reliant on it. We do have an air fryer that we use from time to time, but we always revert back to the microwave for warming things up, for cooking things, while we're doing some outdoor cooking as well. We'll always drop back in here. It might be a sauce that we want to warm up, or it might be, you know, just something that we, something else we need with the meal. But the microwave is a brilliant addition, and I would recommend to anybody, if you're considering not putting one in your build, Work out how much you use it at home. You know, if you use yours a lot at home, why wouldn't you have it in the van? The next item, the fourth item on our list of comforts, is our Triple X Fetford oven. It has three gas hobs on the top. It has a double shelf oven and a grill. And we use that every trip. Even though we cook outside in the morning, we'll use that to make our coffee, unless it's a beautiful day outside and I'm up a little bit earlier. But most of the year, we will use that. You'll find the Triple X is a well-engineered piece of equipment. It lights first time, every time, and cooks everything perfectly. Happy wife, happy life. So when we started building the van, we had a conversation where we all talked about what we thought we'd need in the van and the things that we'd like in the van. Riley was dead easy, he wants Wi-Fi and he wanted a TV. Got them, somewhere to play his PlayStation while we're traveling. That's great, if there's a wet day, I have no problem with him sitting in the van and having a little day off playing on his game. Lisa was a little bit more difficult to please. <laughs> Aren't they all? Um, <laughs> she wanted somewhere to get washed and somewhere to go to the toilet in privacy didn't want to rough it wanted the luxury of being able to wash when she wants and use the toilet when she wants in the comfort of our own, own home really the toilet has provided that so it's a bit of a strange one but if you're building a van and you're considering maybe do I need it do I not need it I'll tell you now, I would never build a van without one. And we're into the final section. So the final section for me is entertainment. What we have in this van that makes us happy, entertains us while we're traveling. And I think you might be surprised at what we've got. <laughs> First of all, Wi-Fi. Can't live with it, can't live without it. It's, it's just part of our life now. Um, we are currently playing around with a couple of systems. Um, we've had one in the van for a number of years. It's been okay. It's not been brilliant. We've tried a number of antennas. And what forced me down the route was one of the components broke where we plug the antenna into the little box. Um, kind of forced my hand. 
having young children, having a wife that needs to be in constant contact with people um, means we need some form of connection and we can use WhatsApp. If we haven't got a phone signal, we're kind of knackered because the antennas on the roof work from phone signal, but they can actually grab a little bit more signal than your phone can, but a little bit higher up, they're a little bit stronger than your phone. So ideal application in the van. We're currently working through a couple of aerials, trialing them to see if what we've got works. So currently we have an RT, uh, an IUT241, and it, the SIM card that we have in there currently is a smarty SIM and it costs us £20 a month for unlimited data. Now I think that's a fantastic deal. This isn't a pay promotion by any means. 20 quid, you can pause it any time you like. If you're not going to be in the van for three months of the year or six months of the year, just stop and start it when you like. It works out a treat. Now, on cue, that changes scene to a different fireplace. I like that fireplace. Let's put it back if we can. In fact, we'll just leave it. We're going to talk about our TV now. <laughs> so one of Riley's requests was he could have a TV. Alternative motive, he wanted somewhere where he could plug his PlayStation in. So he has used this for gaming. While we've been in the hills and fells of Cumbria, he's gamed on this with his Xbox, uh, sorry, with his PlayStation. So absolutely brilliant bit of kit. This is a sniper, a smart TV. Um, and we've hooked this up to a fire stick. Now the fire stick and this TV are a brilliant combination. And I'll tell you why, because we can watch TV anywhere we want. We had a digital aerial fitted previously and it was horrendous. It, it, one day you could have a hundred channels, the next day you could have half a dozen. And the quality wasn't the best. It looked like a spaceship from the 1970s and I didn't, I didn't really like it. I've never liked it. So when the opportunity to come, when the opportunity come to remove it, it was straight off the van. So now we have a couple of antennas on the roof, uh, a decent Wi-Fi system, a fire stick and this smart TV. This is one of our best combinations. Absolutely love it. Great on cold winter nights or if there's a sporting event on we can all sit outside we've had this set up there we watched the women's world cup down at um, lawton and there's about 20 people outside the van absolutely love that you know it's a little telly but we could all still see what we needed to see now the next item is alexa we have alexa in the van now for me my day-to-day -day life revolves around electronics we have timers set up in the house. We have lots and lots of different things and we all run them through Alexa. So we have a sat down here. We have a little lead that we bought off, um, off Amazon that replaces the big plug. And this just plugs straight in and it works like it does in your house. It'll take a couple of seconds to set itself up and it'll be operational And this you know yourself you use them at home it might not be an alexa that you've got at home it might be another device of similar style but we love it we listen to our music we listen to our playlists we can get weather reports we can get cooking instructions if we bring our show with us we have a we have a show as well and sometimes i'll take the show over the dot or the echo because i might i know that i'm going to be doing some cooking on the road i might want a recipe and I can use the show for that. So it takes you through how to cook stuff step by step. I love it. Alexa, sing us a Christmas carol. The halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. <laughs> Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Alexa, thank you. So number four on our list, I've probably not been numbering them as I've gone through, but anyway, number four is my radio. So I swapped out my original radio that come with the van for something a bit better. I wanted something that had a lot more functions than what were being offered by the standard standard van radio. So I wanted sat-nav. 
I wanted to be able to play my own music. I store a lot of music on a, a little USB. I wanted that option. I also wanted to watch, listen to digital radio stations. I wanted DAB. Um, turns out I ordered the wrong radio and didn't get DAB. But now I have DAB. I'll show you how all that works in a minute when I go through the radio with you. This is where we spend most of our time in the apps part of the of the radio. Look at me moving Alexa around. That 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 little dot there is Alexa, and I keep clipping it. But um, basically, you can add any app you want to this desktop. The favourite ones for us are YouTube and all the UK DAB radio stations are on that one. When we bought our radio, we went for one that we could just basically take the old one out and put this straight in. No messing about with new faces, anything like that. So it's a double din, and um, we love it. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. Now, I did say that I didn't buy the right one, but now that we have a router in the van, we can connect via the internet to any DAB station we like. So that's any in the world. And we listen to all sorts of channels and really do enjoy just finding some random ones. Brilliant bit of kit, loads of things on there. I just, we, I couldn't be without it. I ended up putting some speakers in as well. I've got a few videos out there regarding the audio, so I'll put a link up here and you can go and watch The them. great thing about this unit is if you're stuck anywhere or you're parked up or you've got a little bit of time to kill, you can drop onto YouTube and catch up with your friends. If you haven't seen Neil's latest video, go and check it out. They've got some brilliant kit on there, some wonderful ideas. So the next thing is our little tablet, and it is only a little tablet, but we feel like we're in the front row of the cinema when we have it set up on the ceiling. Now, to set it up on the ceiling, we have a couple of little magnetic tabs. One um, holds our current, our old Wi-Fi system in that cupboard. The next one's set up just for the tablet. Now, this little tablet is absolutely brilliant. It's a little Lenovo 10-inch, and basically we watch Netflix on it, and we watch Amazon Prime, anything we want and we just hang it off the roof. Um, all the items we've talked about today will be listed in the bottom. There'll be some way of getting to them. Um, might be an affiliated link, it might not be, but we will take care of that and we'll put a link in the, in the description. If you would like the opportunity to win this jump pack, this starter pack from uh, Top Done, it's dead simple. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the like button and leave a comment. And because of the time of year, we'll make the comment, Merry Christmas. Now, if you're watching this after December 2023, you can't win this. Somebody's already won it. We will try and draw this before, let's say, yeah, before Christmas Day 2023. Now... If you're a winner, I will get this to you in between Christmas and New Year. And uh, if you happen to live local, I'll hand deliver it. Chances are it won't, because anybody that's won one of our competitions previously has had to have it posted to them. Now, it won't come like this. It'll come in a white wrapper in a box. But good luck to you, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And remember, it's only you guys that keep this channel going, so like subscribe and share it with your friends this has just been a bit of fun a bit of a bit of a crack and hopefully you've taken it for what it is these are just pieces of equipment pieces of stuff in the van that i absolutely love and couldn't live without and gift ideas if you're struggling for anybody for christmas my wife tells me all the time i'm the hardest man to buy for i'm not just buy me shit for my van i'll be dead happy anyway merry christmas and have a happy new year and hopefully we'll see you on the road in 2024 why not head over and check out our new website www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk make sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and our facebook group the crafty blinder van builds thanks for watching